Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll look at how to create and manage arcs in your Flash animations. The major topics we'll cover are the motion paths. Software I'm using is Adobe Flash Creative Suite version 6 on a Mac. So a quick review from previous videos. The four basic steps for creating any type of animation are 1. Create a vector shape. 2. Convert it to a symbol. 3. Apply your motion tween. And 4. Apply your change. So let's do that. Here's a flash project. I'm already zoomed in to 200%. Um, so let's go through the four steps. One, create a shape. So I'm going to make a circle. Let's put it in the upper left corner here. So there's my vector shape. Two, I need to convert it to a symbol. So let's use the selection tool to select our shape. Right click and convert to symbol. Um, here I just need to give it a short descriptive name. So blue circle make sure it's a movie clip and then hit OK. So now I have step 2 converted to a symbol. Step 3, apply your motion tween. So down here in the timeline I'm going to right click on the first keyframe, create motion tween. It gives us that default 24 frames to animate with. I'm going to stretch that out to 100 so we have a nice long animation. That's step 3, create our motion tween. And step 4, apply your change. For me, the change is going to be a change in position. So I'm going to go from the upper left corner down to the bottom right corner. So there's my change in position. So I'm basically done with the basic steps of animation. Now I want to do something a little more advanced. I'm going to create an arc. By default, I get a linear path. And you notice um, it's a straight line from point A to point B. It might be a little bit hard to see since it's lime green on white, so I'm going to show you how to change the color. You can go down here, click on this box, double click the box, and uh, it gives you your layer properties. You can change the outline color, and I'm going to pick something a little darker, like a nice red. There we go. So it's a little bit easier to see, a little bit easier to work with. So when it comes to working with your pathways, this is the motion path, remember they're vector paths too. So all the tools that we've learned to work with apply not only to vector shapes, but also to these motion paths, because they are a vector path. Here's one point, here's another point, and the path between them. So I can do a couple of things here. I can take my selection tool, and I can bend this path, just like we were bending the sides of the rectangular shape with this tool. I can also take the pen tool, and I can use the convert tool in order to convert from a curved anchor point back to an angled anchor point. I'll do that on both of these. So it goes back to a straight line. Or I can click and drag to convert it to a curved anchor point. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. We'll click and drag. And now that's a curved anchor point. So there's a couple ways that you can change that linear motion path into a curved path. And I could use my sub-selection tool to manipulate this path even more by increasing the angle and amplitude of that arc. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to hit Command Return. I'm using a Mac for a PC. Um, I believe it's Control Return. And here I can see my object moving along a curved path. So that gives you a lot greater amount of control over the motion path that you've created. You're no longer struck, stuck to doing straight lines. You can now do arcs. Um, you can even start doing twisted paths if you want to. So if I take this point and change my Bezier anchor, I can do a, an interesting snaking sort of path which is much more interesting than traveling in a straight line to get from point A to point B in your animations. So that's it for this video. Hope you learned something. See you in the next one.